I've got this Girlactic bag filled with a bunch of products that I'm throwing out. Now, this video is inspired by Michael Finch. I'm actually obsessed with his videos. I've probably watched every single one. So, shout out to him. I love all of your, um, you know, crazy challenges that you do, but he's not gonna watch this video. Anyways, moving on. When I say that I'm throwing out this makeup, I'm not actually throwing it away, because that's like, ooh. So many people could use that makeup. So when I say that, I mean that I'm actually going to be donating the makeup to a local charity. So just know, disclaimer, that this makeup is not going actually in the trash, but it's like going out. It's going out because I don't like it. I don't. I do not. So let's get straight into this because it is actually 9.40 p.m. at night on Sunday. I just drank a venti decaf coffee, but decaf still has a little bit of caffeine. Caffeine, uh, which is why I'm a little bit hyped up right now. I needed like a little jolt of energy to film this late at night. So let's get straight into it. I've got this Girlactic bag filled with a bunch of products that I'm throwing out. The very first thing that I'm putting on my face is the Rimmel Stay Matte Makeup Primer. Now, if you have dry skin, this is just not gonna work for you. It's, it's white, it's thick, it's... This reminds me of the Huda Beauty Primer and I don't know, I don't know. I just didn't like the way my makeup was looking when I put this on. Uh, it just feels like it's clogging all my pores, man. If anything, my face is more shiny after I put it on, so I don't get that. I don't get that part. But I also have two other priming thingamajigs. I have the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick I just didn't like, see, I like the regular blur stick, but this like, let's just put this. To me, this just is not like, this just is pointless because I'm gonna put foundation over top of this and it's just not gonna go anywhere. And also like, I don't like the chunks of glitter that appear like on here because then it kind of, it just looks chunky when I put my foundation on top because it's like too much going on. Uh-uh, I mean, I look like dewy. It looks good if you're not wearing any makeup, but like I put on primer for the purpose that I'm gonna put a foundation on top of it. So it kind of defeats the purpose for me and I'm just like, mm, mm, pass. The last priming product that I'm throwing away is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. Now this is from their new collection and let me tell you, the blushes in this, it's like a, the Hummingbird or Flutter collection or whatever it is, the freaking blushes in this collection, the Wet n Wild blushes, oh my gosh, best freaking blushes I've ever used. But this, I just, okay. The spray is not bad, but the little dispenser is the worst because it, it like puts water out on the edges. Like all the, it all comes out on the edges instead of like spraying in the middle. So like when I put this on my face, it like goes everywhere except for the middle of my face if that makes sense. Like, I, it's really hard to explain, but I'm spraying it and all this stuff is going around. It's like the spray is coming out like a little circle. So it's like, it's going this way. So it hits everything, my hair, my neck, my clothes, my ears, except for my face. And I'm like trying to get it like all the way around. And then by then I'm like, mm-mm. 
No thank you. So, <laughs> we're allowed to agree to disagree. And I agree to disagree about this Dior Air Flash foundation, okay? This was hella expensive. And one thing, I'm sorry, all the beauty gurus love this Dior foundation. And let me tell you something. I love Tati, man. I love her to death. She's literally like queen of the, she's like literally the mother of the beauty community. And she is the one that made me buy this, but I just don't like this at all. The coverage is just not, <sighs> at this point, I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> so I'm just gonna take a little brush. I would use my sponge, but the sponge is too good to be used right now. So I'm gonna blend this out and I'm gonna show you that my pimples are not covered. Obviously the color is not right right now. I got a sunburn yesterday. I know I'm supposed to be the queen of SPF, but you know what? I got sunburned yesterday and I was really upset about it. So my body is freaking like a little bit, oof, she's hurting. So we're not gonna talk about how this foundation is so many shades left. Literally my ear got sunburned too. Look at this ear. This ear compared to this ear. This ear was in the sun. This ear got sunburned. This ear is totally fine. It's just like not looking good around my nose. All this redness on my nose is poking straight through. It's looking patchy, and that also has to deal with the fact that I didn't like the primers that I put on. It's just, it's just red pigment that's on my nose that like came through, like, cause I popped my blackhead, so like my nose is like red. But this foundation should be stinking good enough to cover that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Oof! I just put a. It's itching. Uh, and that pimple over here. See, it just doesn't wanna cover my redness. It doesn't wanna cover my freaking redness. We have the Benefit Boing, Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. Um, okay, now listen. This isn't the worst concealer in the world, but to me, Concealers and pots are like extremely, extremely like inconvenient. Like I don't wanna have to pull out a brush to put on my concealer. Like just put it in a tube. Just just put it in a tube. Um, but also this stuff is so stinking thick and now it might look like I'm applying it really thick, but I'm just trying to cover up this discoloration that's going on. But this stuff just creases really bad on me, so I mean, I know it's good because I had friends in high school that raved about this stuff, but it just doesn't work well with my skin for some reason. And I just, mm, I just prefer like a squeeze, or not a squeezy tube, um, like a foundation that you just like uh, draw on really quick. I don't wanna pull out this brush. <sighs> So obviously the coverage is good. It just, it's just so thick that it chunks up in my creases. Not cute. All right, moving on. So my face doesn't look too, too bad. I can still see like my sunburn peeking through here. Um, I'm just looking a little bit crusty, like the pores on my nose, like it's just not a good look. But uh, we are gonna truck on here. So I have I have these two Rimmel Insta Dua Contour Sticks in the bag. Oh, I remember why I didn't like this. It like picks up the foundation underneath your face. Like underneath it, it picks up the foundation because now I'm seeing like a pimple that's popping through where it picked up the foundation. It's just patchy. That's why I the that's why I threw it in there. See, some of this stuff I've been collecting up over time, so that's why, you know, I kind of forgot why I put this in there, but now it's all making sense. It's just picking up the foundation from underneath. 
Because you see that pimple right there? That was covered before. Now it's like bright red. Again. You know what a girl needs? She needs a dang full coverage. Full coverage foundation. ColourPop Amber Crystal Liquid Highlighter. Oof. I put this in a video. This stuff is not okay. This stuff is not okay. Let me show you. So you might think, oh, that's kind of cute. It's like an orange, like, soda pop, or like orange crush type of thing. But hold on, just wait. Because I don't know what type of oils they put in here with the pigment, but, oof. Ooh, look it. Shoot, now I don't know. Sometimes my, my lighting makes me look like a little bit more, my skin blurred a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see like all this breakage, breaking up of face makeup. Let me turn this down so maybe you guys can see like what's ha happening on my face. Can you see the breaking up of the makeup? Shoot, I'm worried you guys can't see it because I'm not, I'm not messing around here. I'm really not. I mean, do you see this cakey? The cakey? Ooh, when I'm editing this, I hope that showed up for you guys because. Mm. Ah. So, this is the Lipstick Queen Blush, Liquid Cream Blush in Black Lace Rabbit. So it's a black blush. And when I first used it, like obviously there was no no usage out of it. But as you can see, like the top layer is kind of already turned the pinky color and then it's still black underneath. So it's supposed to like change color on your skin and turn that pinky color. But I don't know, man. It's just kind of hard, like it, look, it's just a weird color changing thing that is just too much. And then also it stains your skin underneath of your makeup. So if I had put my finger in here in the pan, here I'll show you. So I put my finger in there and that's a cute, it's a cute color. It turned pink, wow. Wipe off my finger all the way. My finger now is stained. So if you're trying to have a stained pink cheek, this is for you, but if you don't want your pink cheek stained, cheek peak, I don't know what I'm saying, then I would highly suggest not using this. I mean, it's a cool concept. It's a very natural like looking blush, but I don't, I don't like when my cheeks are stained of like a weird hot pink color. Moving on to powder. So I did a whole video on the, okay, people, people, Ooh, people got so upset about this. The Patrick Star and MAC powder, now this has, it, it's been raved about by so many people, but for me, I have very dry skin, so this powder just dried the crap out of my skin and made my foundation really cakey and um, dry and thick and cracky. So I was not a fan of this powder. Now I know that a lot of people that rave about it have more oily skin uh, or combination. So I can't tell you, you know, the truth about this product if you have oily, oily skin, but your girl has dry skin and this powder just is not a friend of mine. Really dry and like crusty and I'm just not a fan of this type of look. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that is a bad contour. Did I really not blend that on enough? Or is it just like patchy like that? Weird. Moving on to eyeshadows, I don't have any, I don't have any other eyeshadow palettes except for this Fenty Beauty palette. And here's what happened. I put this in my donation pile 
And then as I was about to donate it, I was like, oh my gosh, I spent so much money on this Fenty Beauty palette. So I pulled it out of my donation pile and I tried to give it a couple more shots, trying to, you know, use it wet, use it dry, like maybe crush it up a little bit. And this palette just, I don't know, but these shimmers are probably the worst shimmers I've ever used. They're just, I just don't like them. They're really dry and chalky and they're not pigmented. So I'm just gonna like throw some of this, some of these shimmers on my eyelid. I don't have any other palettes except for this. So I'm just gonna quickly plop on some shimmer. I mean, it's not gonna be very pigmented anyway. So, so as you can see, I'm just putting this on, blending it on my whole lid and it just, it just like disappeared. How many people were telling me like, oh, it's a topper. It's supposed to be a topper. It's not supposed to be pigmented. I'm like, what the heck? You telling me it's not supposed to be pigmented? Who decided that would be a good idea for the, the shimmer eyeshadow to not be pigmented? Because I have never heard that one before. Y'all wild. Y'all wild. I mean, to be honest, I get more pigment out of children's makeup. Ugly. The fallout. The patchiness. It's all real. They're just not showstoppers for me. They're just not. Like, I thought this was gonna be a palette of a bunch of, like, statement, center of the lid, uh, shimmer shadows that were gonna blow me away and be, like, freaking awesome, but it's not. So, I bought these on Sephora's website, thinking that these were gonna be so stinking cute for, like, a bold, cute pastel eyeliner look. These are by House of Lashes and Sephora. Now, I love House of Lashes. They make some of the best lashes I've ever worn, but these eyeliners are actually the worst. I was really looking forward to running all those, but the dinner choices are steak. Okay, so this green one wasn't looking too bad. This was the first application of it, but then when we get over to this one, it's like the pigmentation died. Um, basically, all of them, if you swatch them, they look pretty decently pigmented, but once you actually try to put them on your eyes, it's like the pigment disappears. So these are actually a huge waste of money. And then just to make this eye look even worse than it is right now, I'm going to be putting the Milk Makeup Eye Vinyl right on top. Now, if you've ever tried the whole glossy lid look, it's so uncomfortable. It literally feels like you put, it's literally clear lip gloss, lip gloss that you put on your eyelid and your eyes are sticky, they're uncomfortable, they make everything like messed up, they put creases in everything. So if you had just, you know, spent time on your eye makeup and then you put an eye gloss on, Oh, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna turn out great. It's just gonna be a chunky, sticky mess. Like, look at this, hold up. Hold on, maybe I'll show you with putting it on with my finger too. Like, I can see how this could have been a cool idea, but putting eye gloss on is not, it's sti literally sticky. And to me, anything sticky on my eyelid is not a cute look. So, I mean, even if I wasn't wearing makeup, I've tried to do the glossy eye look without wearing any eyeshadow at all because, hold up, the eyeshadow's gone. The eyeshadow's gone now. But, I've also tried putting the eye gloss on when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, thinking like, oh, it probably just doesn't work when you wear eyeshadow. Like, you just can't wear eyeshadow if you wanna wear eye gloss. No, 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 no. If you just wanna wear your eye gloss, your freaking eyelid is gonna be sticking together all day, and it's the most 
uncomfortable thing ever. Like, <laughs> I just feel like lip gloss on my eyelid. And last but not least, lip color. So I have these Jouer lip creams and I bought these a while ago and I did it for a review, but you guys, I just don't like these at all. And then I'm gonna put papaya a little bit on top in the center. And this might make it a little bit less patchy. Let's see. <sighs> so this is the final look. Oh, okay, girl. Okay, girl. She's looking bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me get a close-up shot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Once again, a little bit of a disclaimer. Why is the camera making me look green and blue? Maybe it's the sign. That's so weird. Ew, oh my gosh, I need to go to bed. It's like freaking 11 at night and I look like a monster. Oh. This is the worst look I've ever done. This is the worst makeup I've ever freaking done. My pores, my pores are over. They're over this. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Let me scroll out really quick because it's just horrendous. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and put on notifications because YouTube is not okay is not letting my people see my videos youtube is trying to cancel my channel so if you enjoy my videos please subscribe and turn on notifications and you're supposed to like click it twice or something so that you actually get them <sighs> youtube has been playing games for way too long anyways thank you guys i appreciate you so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye and i won't look so scary in the next video Hopefully. Okay, bye. Hello, Joby Squad. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to always keep up with Jordan's uploads. Also, lay hands on that like button and bless the comment section with your presence. While you're here, you might as well watch another.